wanted to make a video about iodine. Uh, this is my bottle of iodine. Uh, I got this from Amazon.com. One gallon of iodine, it was something like $27. If you go to the store, like CVS, and you get a bottle like this of iodine, it costs like $12 for this little bottle. Um, I don't know, it's, uh, you, you get like 40 times as much to get it in just a little bit bigger size, so it really makes a lot of sense to get it in the bigger size. Uh, why is iodine important? Uh, your IQ can be lower by 15% if you're iodine deficient, if you're not consuming enough iodine dietarily, then your your IQ can drop significantly. Uh, why is that? Uh, iodine, when it's in your body, uh, it's stored in your thyroid. Um, there's other places in the human body where uh, iodine is stored. There's um, there's an iodine storage facility right behind your stomach. Um, there's iodine storage in uh, women's uterus. Um, the uh, what is it? The lymph nodes is uh, to some degree iodine storage. In any case, um, iodine in your thyroid, though, uh, in combination with a uh, an element which is in peanuts called manganese uh, iodine and manganese in your thyroid become growth hormone which fuels the growth of your brain and your body uh, this is why in uh, ages past fish was regarded as brain food it was food that would make you smart that's because um, iodine is liquid at ambient temperatures so if it finds its way inland, say like a fish carcass ends up inland, it dissolves into the soil, now there's iodine in the soil. Um, that iodine being liquid, it will eventually, uh, the rain will build up on top of it and it will make its way into the water table and it will eventually find its way back out to sea. So uh, primarily uh, the iodine rich environment on the earth is the oceans and so that's why fish was always considered brain food. Um, the World Health Organization says that iodine deficiency is the leading preventable cause of mental retardation. Uh, this is to say, and they're not talking about um, like Down syndrome type of mental retardation, they're talking about just slow thought, that people think slowly for no reason more than they do not consume enough iodine. That's per the World Health Organization. Um, yeah, so iodine is pretty important. Um, you can get it in your diet by seaweed. It's a, a high quality uh, iodine source. Uh, if you are consuming, say, tuna fish or um, swordfish for, your, uh, for the iodine, that, that is your primary source of iodine and uh, you are going about it the wrong way because the mercury that has been put into the air by the coal-fired power plants and has been rained into the oceans uh, has so contaminated the ocean food that uh, you, uh, you'll you mess up your psyche uh, you'll, you'll uh, send yourself into retardation by the mercury. Um, mercury, it will, uh, it prevents you from uh, having clear thought, uh, it can make you shaky. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's reasons that... Have to take a little pause. <laughs> there's reasons that uh, you cannot depend on fish now for uh, for iodine as your primary iodine source because fish has been so grossly contaminated by the industrial state, by uh, all these factories that are churning out 
uh, this pollution which gets washed into the oceans by the rain. So um, that's why it is that you can't depend on seafood for your iodine, why it is that you really should go buy yourself a bottle and uh, what it takes is two drops. Uh, two drops per day, just put them right in your skin. Um, a way that you can test your iodine sufficiency to know that you have enough iodine is uh, you put uh, a brown stain on your skin with iodine and if it stays on your skin for a whole 24 hours then your iodine sufficient you have enough iodine um, you, you could wait a few days beyond that and if you put uh, the two drops on your skin daily then uh, you should maintain your iodine sufficiency throughout your whole life uh, to go from maintaining the brown stain on your skin for 24 hours um, what that means is that uh, your body is so rich with iodine that it can't even be taken into your bloodstream anymore. That's what it means when the, um, when the iodine stays in your skin for 24 hours. Um, doctors, they used to prescribe 750 milligrams, which is a huge amount of iodine, as, um, as a cure-all. Essentially, if there was a condition that was ailing a person, that they didn't know what uh, what it was that was causing it, then they would prescribe the 750 milligrams of iodine, and uh, pretty much without um, uh, without fail, the iodine would cure whatever it was that the doctors couldn't diagnose. Um, so it, it is a natural antiseptic. It's a natural antibiotic. Um, it becomes growth hormone in your thyroid. Uh, it's very important. The amount, uh, and this is where most people are getting their iodine nowadays, is from table salt. The amount of iodine in table salt, though, is 0.28 micrograms. Okay, this is compared to a good amount of iodine for, uh, for an adult person. It's about 13 milligrams. Okay, milligrams compared to micrograms. Micrograms are a lot less. Um, so, uh, in a tablespoon of salt is 0.28 micrograms, which is way too little iodine for a person daily. And who is going to put a whole tablespoon of salt on their food? Not too many people. You know, if you do, you probably get sick from the salt. But, um, I don't know, so that's, uh, that's the ideal solution, really, regarding iodine, is to uh, get a bottle, drip it right in your skin. Um, I don't know if you want it real cheap, get it from Amazon.com by the gallon. And um, oh, definitely eat some peanuts, also uh, manganese is in uh, peppers. It's another good source of manganese. Uh, so uh, uh, please comment, uh, rate, and uh, subscribe. You know, if uh, you guys can't hear anything from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. Like that.